Well, SpaceX is gearing up for another launch this morning. The Falcon 9 rocket set to lift off at 521 this morning for SpaceX's ninth Starlink satellite mission. 58 internet communication satellites are on board and they're all part of the company's goal to provide global internet from space. We are just about 15 seconds away from liftoff this morning. If you all still go ahead, let's go ahead and listen in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff of Falcon 9 and Starlink Ocho. seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has just had a successful liftoff. A successful liftoff from pad 40 for its first Starlink rideshare carrying three planet SkySats and our SpaceX Starlink satellites. Next coming up will be Max Q. And that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees, the, the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. Max Q. And there's that call out that we just passed through Max Q. Next up will be three events happening back to back, and that will be Miko, our main engine cutoff, stage separation, as well as second engine start or SES 1. Main engine cutoff or Miko is when all nine of the M1D engines shut off and slow the vehicle down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. And stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage, with first stage making its way back to Earth and second stage taking our satellites to their targeted orbit. And then finally will be SES-1, which is second engine start with that MVEC engine lighting up and taking those... The vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. ...and taking those satellites to orbit. Now those three events are coming up here in about 15 seconds. Again, that is Miko stage separation and SES-1. Miko stage separation confirmed. And there, as you saw live on your screen, Miko, main engine cutoff and stage separation. First stage being on your left screen. On your right screen is second stage with that MVEC engine glowing bright red there. On your left screen, you can see those grid fins deploying on the first stage. Those grid fins help. Fairing separation confirmed. And we just had fairing separation. We had a successful deployment of those fairing halves. Let's see if Miss Tree and Miss Chief can make a catch the attempt today. The vehicle continues to follow a nominal trajectory. And as I was mentioning, the grid fins have deployed. That helps guide that first stage back to its landing zone. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. Stage two is still looking good. We're getting a nice bright view of first stage on your left screen. And coming up next for first stage as it makes its way back to Earth it will perform a couple of burns, the first of which will be the entry burn. 
And that entry burn is where three of the nine Merlin 1D engines light up and slow the stage down as it re-enters back into the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is called the landing burn, and this is when the single engine on the, on the vehicle, the E9 engine, ignites and brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. And again, we are attempting to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. We're getting a nice bright view. I, I believe that is the sun hitting that first stage on your left screen there. So really, really cool, cool view of that. Second stage is still looking good. And you just watched SpaceX launch a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station with 58 Starlink satellites on board that'll soon be in orbit.